I'm just going to guide you through the solutions to tutorial one now the Excel questions so starting at question four I'm going to guide you through the questions. so first of all I need to log on to blackboard and get the data files in the theory of finance and in module content and I I guess it's a tutorial question. So these are the, the data files. So the first question requires the use of this constituents list. So I click on it, then I click save, and I'll just save it to my D drive and then open it up. Okay, so here we've got um, organized by, um, sorted by industry actually. And if we scroll down, we'll see the various companies, their market values in millions of pounds going down and we already have a, a rogue figure in there and you can see that there are actually 102 items in the, the FTSE 100 so the question asks what is the average market capitalization so let's just put that answer here so average capitalization well, that's a straightforward when we click the function wizard if I select all and scroll down, I'm using the wheel on the mouse here, I come to average, so this returns the average of a number of its arguments, so I select average, and it's guessed B2 to E2, but it's not B2 to E2, it's B2 all the way down to the bottom, so it's going to take the average market value, and the average market value of these firms is, and I'll just click format, cells to put it in the currency and put a pound sign is the average market capitalization of these companies is well that's in millions of pounds so that's 14.5 billion pounds is the market capitalization the the next item asked for the largest and the smallest so I can use the function max and I can use the function min so again I'll go to the function wizard and press M to go down to the M's and there's max it'll probably guess some numbers for me no it hasn't and I just select the market values just to reiterate what market capitalization is market capitalization is the number of shares in existence times by the current share price that gives the market value so again press M to go down and find the min and it's guessed those figures but I just change it to the figures that it should be and there's our two answers if I just highlight those two cells and I can actually right click and click format cells I can change to number and put the pounds in there so there's my two answers but that just gives the value I was actually looking for the largest and the smallest capitalized stocks well there are a number of different ways of doing that I could if I wanted to just highlight these cells select data select sort and sort by industry well I don't want to sort by that I want to sort by a market value and I could do it ascending it asked me if I've got a header row well a header row is when you've got the names at the top so I click OK and there look the answer for the minimum one is Schroeder's and if I scroll down the one with a, a very large market value of almost 119 billion is BP there we have it. Now, there would be a, a more sophisticated way of, of, of looking this up. Um, a more sophisticated way would involve me moving this data, so I could cut that, and then go to here and insert the cut cells. So now I've got the data organized in a, a different way, with the market values in the first column, then the name, then the industry and so I could actually use the function wizard um, to use a function called VLOOKUP so I press V and here we are so VLOOKUP looks for a value in the leftmost column of the table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify so I can look up a value in the leftmost column of a table so here's going to be our table and then I can return a value in the same row well, that's what I want but in a column that I specify but by, the by default the table must be sorted in ascending order so I just check that I've, I've done that yes it's in ascending order so look up value well I want to look up this value here that's my maximum value my table array is here 
I could if I wish to ask it to tell not the company name but the industry that's in because I've got that information the column index number is the column number and table array from which the matching value should be returned the first column is one well I want a two and there's my answer BP this range lookup is a logical value to find the closest match true if omitted or if I want an exact match is what I do want because it might just be coincidence that there is a, a company with very close to that amount so I'll put false to make sure that it does that correctly so there's my answer for BP remember in class we, we, we looked at the use of the dollar sign so I want to copy this formula down but if I copy it down this F3 will become F4 which is fine but the A2 will become A3 and the C103 will become C104 so I just need to go along here and either put a dollar in front of the A and in front of the 2 and then in front of the C in front of the 1003 or I can press F4 and if you notice that that's put dollars in front of everything press it again I get dollars in front of the numbers press it again I get dollars in front of the letters press it again I've got no dollars press it again I've got dollars in front of everything so if I do that and pull the formula down it should have the answer as Schroders so now I've identified the largest and smallest capitalized stocks and I now have to look at the industry with the greatest representation which I'll move on to in the next lesson